AC load as well as DC load right now this uh, DC light because it uses DC everyone how are you doing today in this particular video i'm going to talk about esp01 module this esp01 module is an amazing module it has eight pins out of these eight pins four pins are io pins you can control up to four devices using a single small tiny chip all right so you can see this the wearable board it uh, like it is a small battery i have attached with this and you know you can charge the battery using this uh, tiny tp4056 module and this relay module is connected with the output io pen i'm using on the single one you can use up to four it depends on you like what are your needs and requirements and this is connected with this hardware and this hardware would be connected to your wirelessly with the router of your house or the hotspot of your cell phone like it needs internet connection for example you are not at home you are in another city or another country even you want to just switch on or off your uh, appliances at your home in another country so where this hardware is installed so it just open the app blink app you just switch you can switch it on and off using the blink app because the blink app is going to be the blink uh, server or the blink cloud and this basically uh, tiny esp01 is uh, basically providing the bridge between uh, your uh, home appliances and the uh, blink application all right so let's go to the blink app this is a blink iot you can see in the center of the screen blink iot you can install it from google play store all right so blink iot application has been opened this is the project all right so these two buttons are basically one of right button is controlling the uh, blue led that is built in led on the esp01 and the left side button is controlling the relay if you want to use four relays then you can use this esp01 if you want to use more than four relays for example up to eight relays like eight appliances at your home so then you should use this a266 module this one is not so much costly it is inexpensive in pakistan its price is almost six to seven hundred rupees and in dollars it would be around five to six dollars maximum and the, this esp01 is quite cheaper option for up to four relays because this esp01 its price is almost one to two dollars in pakistan its price is almost 300 rupees so that is very inexpensive you everybody can afford it and it's very easy to make this circuit at your home by yourself if you have basic concepts of electronics but if you are not able to do that so these this esp01 built-in complete circuit is also available in the market but that is little expensive so that's why um, uh, if you do it by yourself it would be a like better option if you purchase it from market definitely you will not get any battery with that and you will not get any charging mechanism with that so this is my own project that's why i'm adding additional features in this so it is uh, like portable thing you can make it switch on off all right secondly you can like it has a charging you can just plug like cell phone you can just plug in the wire over here and you can charge your battery like within one to two hour so it depends on the size of the battery but you know it's a very portable thing you can carry it anywhere you want if you just place it for example over here you want to control this socket this this socket with this relay so just get two two like two wires out of this one load wire coming from the load and the one live wire these two wires which are actually connected with this button on off button this on off button basically get these two wires out and plug in over here so connect one wire with the common and second wire with the normally open then you would be able to control this socket using this relay module and you then when you will make it on this socket will be on when you will switch off from the cell phone it will be off and you can do it from anywhere in the world 
whether you are because this chip is connected to your Wi-Fi router and you can control this hardware using Blink application from anywhere in the world. So if you are in your office, you forgot to uh, switch on or off your motor. You are in office, you forgot to switch off your AC, like anything like that. Your, or for example, you can uh, you can switch on or off your terrace lights. You can switch on or off your room lights and fans, um, like from your office, from other country, from other city, using this this circuit only. So it's a quite cheaper option. It's very useful. I hope that in this particular video, you have got the, the useful information about this home automation project. And in the future, I would come up with the new idea, with new project. Until then, bye-bye. <laughs>